Hey guys, Miss P here. Um, today we are messing with Kanani. Um, I don't know if you saw our last video where, um, well, I guess one or two videos ago, where we brought Kanani into the family um, and noticed that she did have some very loose limbs. Today we are going to fix that. Um, I know you've seen plenty of tutorials or should have by now all over YouTube on how to do this properly. Um, so we're just going to do a pretty quick version for you. Um, and I won't put it all on tape. We'll fast forward through some spots, things like that. So uh, we're going to get her head off and we'll get started. So just in case there's anyone out there who hasn't done this yet before, hopefully your doll has strings. If not, um, I have not done a zip tie as of yet. Um, I will be doing that in the future at some point. But if you've got your doll with strings, you're going to want to undo the knot in the back. Sometimes they can be really tight, which is not a bad thing. It's good, but sometimes you might need some help. A fork, some kind of thin object to help you get in there, which I'm going to need to go grab. Hold on. Okay, so I'm just going to use the end of my mechanical pencil because there's no lead and it's a nice little thin plastic piece. I like to use this versus a fork because I don't want to accidentally stab my doll. And I can still usually get this slid under there pretty good. All right, and there we go. There's that. So now we'll stretch that out and take the head right off. Sorry, I know it's kind of gruesome. <laughs> we'll set her aside. And then now we'll just start unstuffing the body. So as soon as I get all the stuffing out, I'll be back. Okay, so I've got her completely unstuffed. And I don't know how many of you have actually seen this, but that is legitimately how much stuffing is in your doll. And it's a lot. <laughs> Always surprises me how much they actually fit in there. So um, I've already gone ahead and tightened the legs myself, but I wanted to at least show you one in case there are people out there who have never seen it before. Now there's going to be a couple of different things you can see once inside the doll. I'm going to show you the arm. It's much easier to show than the legs because you have to really get in there. This one has just a knot over the cap. Um, some of them will have a little brass fitting that's just um, squeezed over the edge of the elastic. Um, I know there's another version of this that actually doesn't have um, the same style cap or maybe it's a little different. I've never personally seen one up close but I know I've seen other people who have them on their doll on some other videos. Um, so what you're going to do is whether or not you've got this knot or that little brass fitting, you're going to take your hair tie, you're going to pull the knot, stretch it out so you can see that space, and then you're going to affix or attach, if you will, the hair tie between the knot and the cap. And it can be a little difficult on the fingers to keep this pulled tight while you do so. But just do the best that you can. And that just pulls that elastic string tighter because eventually elastic always loses its elasticity, so all you're doing is wah, adding some tension back into there. So now her limbs can hold a pose. Much nicer. So super easy process. The actual long process of this is getting the stuffing in and out. So now we're going to get it put all back in. So you definitely want to try to attempt to get all of it back in. Um, I know sometimes it feels like you've stuffed it so full that you can't. Uh, just do your best. You can use the end of a wooden spoon to push it all the way back in. I prefer to use my hands so I can make sure that it's in there all the way. Um, I try to get a good chunk of it in there to start with and then I will form it, so to speak, around the fittings inside the legs. Um, you don't want any of that to show through and you don't want her to have weird saggy skin wrinkles around her legs where <laughs> where stuffing should be. Um, so get a good chunk in there and then you just use your fingers 
and really get it in there around these areas if you can see my finger in there um, up front in back because you want to give her her butt back <laughs> really get it all in there and formed around all right so I'm gonna get her restuffed and we'll be back okay so we got her all stuffed I got all of it back in if you can believe it um, my fingers are a little red and sore but we got it all back in there she's uh, pretty squishy we have a nice uh, nice form going she's got her butt back all right let's get her head back on and we should be all done with this gruesome process takes me about I don't know 15 minutes I've heard some people say it takes them longer um, it just it really depends on how many times you've done this and the experience that you've got with it um, so you want to make sure you slide her head back in her or his sorry uh, back in over the stuffing you don't want anything poking out um, and we'll flip her back over and you're gonna to want to pull the strings as tight as you can um, so the easiest way I found to do that is go ahead and start your tie like you would when you're tying your shoes so that you um, you have a little more leverage here so just pull as tight as you can and if you've got another person to help you they can put their finger there oh her hair is so long <laughs> um, I do not because pinkies at school um, so I'm gonna use my own huh, pinky um, to try and hold it tight there and just do it as fast as you can so once you've got your knot definitely tie it one more time give it that additional you know leverage there and now woof, we have a nice and tight Kanani head can still move let's tilt this up a little bit if I can <laughs> sorry all right so we have a doll that can hold a pose and her limbs are now nice snug and tight all right so that's how we do that um, just for a future reference I probably won't do a video because I've already done one like that already on a uh, Marisol and my uh, number 24 Charlie um, but I'm probably gonna be straightening her hair I did give her a hot water dunk it really did do wonders for her hair it's nice it's shiny it's soft I just I don't know I've got so many dolls that have curly and soft wavy hair I really want to see what her hair would look like straight so I think we're probably going to straighten her hair out and make it even longer um, and we'll see how she comes out all right well thanks for joining me today guys for this um, strange tutorial uh, if you liked it please hit the uh, thumbs up button below and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and uh, we'll see you guys again soon thanks bye